Here I'm going to show my Snippet Maker app, which is an environment. It's actually called a GPT within ChatGPT. Within Claude, it would be called a project. But it's a little app that allows you to create useful apps of your own that do useful things. They will run right in the ChatGPT site, but they can also run in other websites. So let me do just a really simple one to start with. I'd like you to create a button that shows up in the current web page in the bottom left corner. It should be green and have rounded corners and say drop image here, period. I would like it to handle drag and drop events. When you drop an image from the file system, it will open that image in a new resizable dialog box that will, when it's resized, it will resize the image with it to keep it the maximum size it can be, but maintaining the aspect ratio so it doesn't get stretched. Now, hopefully you can kind of visualize what's going on, what I'm asking for. It's explaining what it's going to do. It's writing the code. Now, before I run this, I need to show you, this also depends on a bookmarklet, which is, I'm calling bookmarklet snippets. They're kind of the same thing. I'm going to put this up here. It's called snippets. And all you got to do is go to this website, drag it up there. You only have to do it once and it'll just stay in your bookmarks toolbar. And when I run that in ChatGPT, you see it added these things up top and it added these to any code box and it will add it to any, anytime it adds a new code box, it'll watch for that and add these things. Um, I'll explain in a little more detail. I mean, for instance, it will, you can uncheck that to not use this or you can edit it to, if you need to edit the text here, I'll just add a space there. Doesn't really do anything, but just to show that you can edit the text if you need to change it but I need to make sure that's checked, which it is by default, if I want that to actually be used. The code, well, I'll explain a little bit about the code in a minute, but I just wanna go ahead and run it. Here, I'll do it by creating a new bookmarklet, otherwise known as a snippet, and we'll call it drop image. And we're just gonna put it up here in our bookmarklets or bookmarks toolbar. And when I run this, I get rid of that if I want to. Uh, when I run that, boop, there's my little green button. And if I take an image and drag it to it, let's drag this image of a pretty car to it. And there it is. And it's in a resizable dialog box. What do you know? That's your first snippet. Very simple. Runs right there in chat GPT, you notice. And I can even run it in other websites. There it is here. If I drop an image, there's a fox. It does the right thing, resizable. It just has enough built-in functionality, some simple stuff to make it so it's really easy to do this sort of thing. And there you are. Now, obviously that's not the most useful thing, but it's, uh, it's a start. And my next one's gonna be a little bit more sophisticated.